using my Tacoma for real truck stuff. Tacoma as a real truck. Now, I know, first of all, that it's not some overwhelmingly heavy or wide load, but still, it's a truck, right? And it's meant to do things just like what I'm doing back there. And I gotta say, first of all, this is primarily what I use the truck for uh, as far as hauling any kind of stuff goes, right? I mean, I'm not hauling around, you know, giant cinder blocks or truckloads of dirt or anything like that. Doesn't mean that I couldn't, but it's just not what I'm doing. And I think that's what probably a majority of people use their Tacoma for, right? I mean, I know there are heavier users out there and there are even Tacomas that are used for work. I was driving, I don't know, somewhere the other day and I was driving past some business, I think it might have been a, a city business or something, I don't know. But I saw two Tacomas with the uh, city logo on the side of them getting ready to pull out of somewhere. So they were actually work trucks. And I got to say, that's the first time I've seen a work Tacoma in my area. I know they have them other places, but in my area. So that's the convenience of having a truck for me, you know, to be able to go out just like this, grab a two by four, which by the way, is going to be for a giveaway on the Jeep Gladiator channel. And if you didn't know, and I don't know how you couldn't, but if you didn't know, I have a, another channel, it's called Rob Motive JT, and it is all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. So I'm gonna be doing a little giveaway over there. It's something that I'm actually going to make Hopefully it comes out well, we'll see. I, I guess if it doesn't, well, then there won't be any giveaway, but it's a pretty simple project and anybody can do it at home. Uh, so check that out if you're interested. That'll be coming up, I don't know, in a few days, a week, maybe something like that. So this is primarily what I do to use my Tacoma as a real truck. Um, it's living a pretty calm life, a pretty docile life really is a truck, right? I wouldn't call it necessarily a garage queen, um, and I wouldn't really call it a mall crawler. I'd probably call it a Lowe's crawler. If you're gonna, if you have to put a label on it, like you know we have to do today, we have to label everything, right? Uh, I would call it a Lowe's crawler because that's primarily uh, the kind of stores that my truck visits. I don't know what's going on with traffic. Green light, car starts going and then just stops. Maybe it's a manual transmission and they don't know what they're doing, I don't know. But I got something else to tell you, it's kind of funny. Uh, as I was leaving uh, Lowe's actually today, uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, there's a four way stop sign, little way down the road, or ways down the road from there. So. I pull out, you know, I'm on the road, I pull up to the four-way stop, and there's a few cars, so it's 
you know, go, wait your turn, go, wait your turn, stuff like that, where the traffic is just kind of inching forward, right? There's a big truck behind me. I, when I say a big truck, I mean just a pickup truck, not like a service truck or whatever, a semi. But there's a truck behind me, right? And, you know, there's two things I have hanging out of the back of this truck right now. Of course, the two by four, which you might be able to see through my fogged up window. It's actually not fog, it's just mist because it's misting outside. Uh, and then of course the beaver tail that hangs out about yay far. It's not real far. And I gotta be honest, you would probably hit the two by four that's sticking out before you would ever come right up against that beaver tail. Maybe, eh, with the slope of the windshield, maybe not. But that beaver tail only sticks out maybe a foot probably less than that down at hitch level of course you know it hangs off of the hitch or goes into the hitch area but this truck is right on my arse i mean i'm looking in my rear view mirror and i'm starting to wonder gee how close is he to that beaver tail and you know i am waiting because you know how people are for some reason we can't pull up to a stop sign and leave you know a decent amount of room we got to be right on top of that person so that when it's our turn to go we don't lose that infinite small part of a second that we might have gained if we'd have been just an inch you know a, not an inch a millimeter closer but uh he's right on me man and i'm thinking you know first of all i'm driving a manual transmission now this happened to be on a flat surface so i'm not rolling or anything but i could have you know if it was on any kind of a slant or a slope backwards you know when i go from my uh, clutch to go it's possible i could roll back a little bit and i don't think anybody even thinks about that today you know with manuals on the downturn on the on the decline not a lot of people have them and i don't know if anybody even really considers that and it's something that you really ought to think about especially if it's somebody in a truck you know that guy in this case this guy might just be driving a manual transmission. And is it really smart to get so close and give them no room so that maybe they're not that skilled, maybe they're just not paying attention. They start to take off and before everything engages, maybe they just creep back a little bit. And guess what? You're right on top of them. I mean, come on, man. Does it really matter to leave just a little bit of room? And you know, a lot of people are gonna say, well, you should have control of your vehicle at all times. It's your fault if you roll backwards. I would agree. It is your fault if you roll backwards and you should have control all the time, but I live in the real world. Things happen, you know? And if it did happen, then guess what? You're both sitting there off the road. If you have to get the police involved, now what turned into just a quick errand or a quick 10 minute trip, it's gonna be two or three hours, insurance phone calls. Hopefully you get somebody that has insurance uh, and a whole saga of stuff. So just leave a little bit of room, man. Does it really bother you that much? And pay attention. Some people I've seen when they pull up like that, they're immediately on their phone. You know, that's the first thing everybody does, it seems. You pull up to a stoplight, stop sign, whatever. You gotta grab that phone because you know, in the 30 seconds that passed since the last time that you looked at it, you probably got some earth shattering important message. I don't know. But it's it's just amazing to me the, the people that do that. And I know some are gonna say, well, you're on your phone right now. Yeah, I'm on my phone, but I'm always looking forward. And even if I glance at you guys, uh, I can still see what's in front of me, right? Out of my peripheral vision. Right now, I can see what's happening in front of me. I'm not staring down like this, so there's no way I can see what is up ahead, you know? I don't know, it's just crazy. Anyway, kind of wanted to show you guys uh, me using my truck as a real truck, because you know, I get these people on here that for some reason, again, the label people like to call it a mall crawler, and eh, whatever. Um, but sometimes I do use it as a real truck, even if it's a small job. And don't let the people that try to diminish what you're doing with your truck do it. Any job, anything that you put in that bed is using your truck as a truck, at least in my opinion. Leave a comment, let me know. Do you use your truck, your Tacoma, as a truck? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, as I mentioned earlier, I have two other channels, actually. One is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And the other is Rob Motive Civic, 
all about my adventures with the Honda Civic Sport Hatch and the Honda Civic Type R. Do me a favor, check them out. If you like them, please subscribe. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.